Hello there everyone and welcome to my iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use overlays and I'll be doing this using iMovie running on my iPad but it works just as well on the iPhone. So let's go right ahead and open up iMovie and open up this test project that I've created and click edit. So here we are in the timeline. Now, what is an overlay? An overlay is a way of overlaying uh, a second video clip on your timeline. So this is a technique that's uh, fairly frequently used in interviews. So uh, if you imagine um, somebody's talking about something, in this case, I'm, I'm dribbling on about how great the iPhone is. And as I mentioned certain things about the iPhone, it would be great to see uh, a video clip illustrating what I'm talking about. So the best thing to do is just let the video clip play uh, and listen to what I'm saying and then insert the relevant shot over the relevant point on the main timeline. So let's start by listening to, to what I'm talking about. So here I am, uh, I'm talking about the iPhone, we're talking how what a great piece of kit it is and what a fantastic tool it can be for your filmmaking. Okay, let's stop there. And this would be a great point to have a, a, a shot of the iPhone. Now, let's, uh, I've already shot some uh, cutaways uh, and they're in my media browser. So let's go up to the top right hand corner and click the plus button to get in there. Click video, recently added, and here we are. As you can see, there's the interview down at the bottom there. Above that, we have a wide shot of the iPhone. Above that, we have a close up of the front facing camera. And above that, we have a shot of the rear facing camera. So let's insert our, or sorry, let's overlay our, sh our wide shot of the iPhone. So let's select it. And this brings up the insert window. Now, if I was just to press that uh, little plus button in the circle there, what would happen is this clip would be inserted into the main timeline. It would split the main video uh, at the playhead and insert this video clip. This isn't what we want to do. What we want is for this clip to be overlaid on top of this, uh, this existing video clip so that the audio runs underneath it. And we can do that very easily by pressing these three dots on the side here. And this brings up the overlays options. Now, there's a little sound overlay option. Uh, we won't worry about that for the moment. But as you can see, there's like a, a square with another square. That's the classic overlay, and that's the one we want to use. Uh, but for the moment, I'll, I'll go on and explain what the others do. There is a square here, the, the one in the middle is a square, a big square with a, a smaller square in the top left-hand corner. So that, that means that your, your main video will run in the large square, and the video clip that you've just selected will run in the smaller square in the corner. To the right of that you have a split screen, so on one side of the screen you'll have your video clip in your timeline, and then in the other side you'll have the, the clip that you're selecting in the media browser. So let's go ahead and click the uh, cutaway overlay. So there we go, as you can see it's dropped it onto the main timeline. So let's just listen uh, and, and hear what that sounds like. Um, uh, I'm talking about the iPhone, we're talking how what a great piece of kit it is and what a fantastic tool it can be for your filmmaking. Um, it has two cameras, it has one on the front and one on the back. The one on the back has... So let's stop it there. Uh, and as I start to talk about the camera on the back of the iPhone, that would be a great position to have a shot of that camera. But as you can see at the moment, we are, our, our wide shot is much longer than we need it. So we need to shorten that. So let's highlight it by clicking on it. Uh, and as you can see in actions, we can split, split that. And what that's done, it's split the clip at the playhead and highlighted everything to the right. So let's delete that. Let's try inserting the shot of the rear facing camera by selecting it, clicking on our three dots and then overlaying it. 
So that's overlaid it there nicely. So let's just play that and make sure so everything's running one correctly. One on the front and one on the back. The one on the back has a far better resolution. I believe it's a full HD camera at 1024 uh, lines and then the camera at the front is only... So let's stop it there and as I start to talk about the camera on the front that's where we want the, the shot of the camera on the front. So let's again highlight our clip, split it, delete it and select our clip, click on the three dots and overlay. So there we go, that's, that's it, the three clips in there. Let's just watch it from the beginning once more and make sure everything makes sense and all the shots relate to the correct position on the dialogue. So here I am, uh, I'm talking about the iPhone, we're talking how what a great piece of kit it is and what a fantastic tool it can be for your filmmaking. Um, it has two cameras, it has one on the front and one on the back. The one on the back has a far better resolution, I believe it's a full HD camera at 1024 uh, lines and then the camera at the front is only 720 I believe so it's it's just over half the resolution of the camera on the front uh, on the back sorry uh so let's stop it there and that's where I want this cutaway to end so let's highlight it split it and delete so now we know all of our cutaways are correct and they're in the right positions so if we wanted to change the nature of the overlays, we can do that very easily by clicking on uh, the clip that we want to change. And now that brings up the actions uh, tab and the speed, the volume and the overlay. So let's select overlays. And the, the extreme left uh, option here is the cutaway one, which we're already using. And the, the next one is the picture in picture. So let's click on that and see what happens. So there we go. That, let's just remove the playhead back a bit. Select there. So that's working quite well, uh, particularly with me on the right hand side of the screen and the cutaways on the left hand side. Now, the really cool thing about this particular option is that you can tailor it slightly with these two little buttons in the top right hand corner. If we press the top one, you can say it says drag to position, pinch to resize. So if we pinch, we can make this little picture in picture bigger or smaller, and we can move it around. So I think that's probably probably it there. If we click the bottom one, we can actually zoom in to the, uh, to the shot itself. So let's just leave that there as it is. Uh, now I think this, this, this works very well. Uh, so let's just see what the others look like. No, that's not working that well. Slightly better. No, not at all. No, not at all. So for me, it's either that one or the cutaway. So let's just see what this looks like as I run the, the clip underneath it. Um, it has two cameras. It has one on the front and one on the back. The one on the back has... A yeah, that's not working too bad. Um, my only reservation is that because the, the interview running underneath it is a little shaky, um, I didn't use a tripod, I handheld it with a, a selfie stick, it's slightly distracting. I'll show you again. Um, it has two cameras, it has one on the front and one on the back. So for me, I personally would change that back to the full screen cutaway and leave it at that. So there we go. That's how to use overlays very, very briefly. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.